Hey there YouTube, this is Jared with Omnivore Blade Works and uh, wanted to give you a shop update. It's going to be September 1st tomorrow. This is my downdraft sucker table that I use when I'm processing handles. If you didn't already know how this works, I set a handle master in this hole in a jig and then I set already CNC profiled blanks that I've reamed so they're quarter inch holes um, and you set that in there and then you run through a, a, a series of routers with a chamfer bit and a roundover bit and then an ellipsoid cutter and then you end up with one that looks like that and then you can clean it up on the belt sander so I do a lot of that type of thing. I just started working with Tarot Tough for the new chef's knife. So this is my master set. Um, I need to make some MDF spacers so I can do the next batch. Tarot Tough is kind of funny. It smells like fiberglass, but it's all polyester, so it doesn't get into your skin and ruin you. I'm doing trying to get the rest of the 1095 blades that I have ready for a heat treat batch. So here's about 24, I hope that's 20, about 20 tomahawks. Five, that might be 22. 22 tomahawks and then a Taipan. This is already done, heat treated, but this is my one-handed tomahawk and uh, I got three more. I'm gonna not do this little fang hooks on the back because that was a real pain in the butt. It's not really good for much. So I've got three more here. Then I'm going to grind off those hooks and then that'll be nice double edged in the back instead of that mild or obtuse um, false edge. And then I got the Magnum Imamba with the handle very like my first uh, generation um, murder Gladius. And um, so I'm going to grind those within next week, I think. And then out here, a table full of old handle material and some heat treated blades that are waiting for handles, a couple of camp axes, and then catharsis, which is my take on, on a sword that John Carter of Mars might like to, to wield. And then I've been also fitting handles for the AEBL um, first batch I'm doing of AEBL so I've got four of these little javelina box cutter knives I've got one rescue knife or two rescue knives tan and maybe black handles for those and then I got the prehensile crow dagger and the dragon karambit which has got the same basic handle as the uh, prehensile series so it fits great in your hand in all different positions and has a thumb, thumb shelf so that you can will actually whittle with it and use it as a working knife and then these little I guess those are egg teeth that I put on the back of the blade just for gripping and then the hungry possum in ABL I got two of those with the blue tarot tough so we just got a little bit of deburr work to do before I start flat sanding and then grinding these um, I think I'm gonna grind them before they're hardened because in my experience I haven't had any warping problems with other stainless steels on the thinner gauges so I'm gonna take a chance at least with a few and and see how it goes I'm gonna probably talk to Peters and other heat treaters before I do that but um if you have any recommendations or you worked with ABL before if there's any worries let me know I might ask Mike Gavick what he thinks again this is the SF chef's knife tarot tough handles um, I'm really happy with the way these are starting to shape up got one with the carbon fiber handle which is pretty I, these have just been coming off the router, so. And then this is my dire wolf that I'm going to keep for myself. 
carbon fiber grips, really lightweight battle blade. Um, a few of my friends actually, I posted on Facebook, um, and a couple of my friends want one of these already, so they're going to be, I think there's ten, there may be eight available. Um, what else? Also have a couple of ultralight Parvis knives with tan and blue tarot stuff. And these would be a great ladies camp knife, or if you're backpacking and you don't want a full size parvis, that might be a good option. Um, I keep saying um. The weather's getting better, so that means the tomahawks that we already have heat treated. This stack of ETA tomahawks, there's ETA scouts, and a couple of 3B ultralights. I'm going to get those ready for Cerakote as soon as the, the batch of. Um, the other new ones goes out to heat treat. And I'm also going to, actually another thing I have to do is to mill, mill underhooks on a couple of jackals because I got orders for those. And then there's some 3V tomahawks, Anubis tomahawks at the bottom here that I'm going to go ahead and mill the old fashioned way instead of trying to CNC them. And then the new pattern is going to be a hidden tang and then we'll do those on the CNC hopefully start to finish and that'll be the if we do a big production run that's what we'll do and then there's the blade blanks out of really thick 3v which I need I've been I did I just did the initial flat sanding now I gotta actually bend them into flat because they're kind of they're not all flat and then do the, the grinding on those prior to heat treat um, that's about all that I can tell you right now. Um, the shop is fairly clean right now. I'm pretty happy about that. And I'm feeling good. My body's cooperating this week. So things are looking up. All right. See you next time.